our final three. Lou, you go first. Okay. There we go. Puerto okay, Rico, Puerto Rico, South, South Africa, Africa, and Venezuela. Venezuela. Carson? Can I say, first of all, that I was shocked that Thailand did not make this top I five. Know. Very shocked about that. Here are my top five. Oh, wait, that's the wrong, wrong card. Here are my top five. <laughs> Vietnam, South Africa, Puerto Rico. Vietnam, yeah, South Africa, Philippines, Venezuela. Okay, so we're going to see who made the cut. Back to you, Steve. We began this journey with 94 contestants. And now it's down to five. And in a moment, only three finalists will be left standing. Okay, get ready, because here are your final three. The first finalist with a chance to take the Miss Universe crown is... Philippines! of three finalists is South Africa. There is only one name left for the other two finalists. Unfortunately, your Miss Universe dream ends tonight. Our final contestant in the top three is Venezuela! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your three finalists. Congratulations, but you three finalists, you have to stay right there where you are because the next round begins right now. It's time for the final word. Now, each contestant will be asked the exact same question. While one contestant answers, the others will be wearing soundproof headphones. You've each got 45 seconds to respond. If you go over time, your Venezuela will be using an interpreter. It's time for your final word. South Africa and Venezuela, headphones on. Philippines, please join me. Congratulations. Sorry, my bad. Okay, get ready. Here is the question. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life, and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? I work a lot in the slums of Tondo, Manila, and the life there is very, it's poor, and it's very sad, and I've always taught myself to look for the beauty in it, to look in the beauty in the faces of the children and to be grateful. And I would bring this aspect as a Miss Universe to see situations with a silver lining and to assess where I could give something, where I could provide something as a spokesperson. And this, I think, if I could teach also people to be grateful, we could have an amazing world where negativity could not grow and foster and children would have a smile on their face. Thank you. Thank you, Philippines. Please remove South Africa's headphones. South, South Africa, please join me. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Steve. Here's your question. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? Throughout my life, throughout my life I've been exposed to both those who are privileged and underprivileged. And what I've learned is that we are all human. 
We all want to be loved. We all want to belong and we all want to be seen. So we should treat each other that way. Thank you. Thank you, South Africa. Please remove Venezuela's headphones. Venezuela, please join me. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, here is your question. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? ¿Cuál es la lección más importante que has aprendido en tu vida y cómo aplicarías eso en tu reinado como Miss Universo? Crecí en una familia llena de mujeres. I grew up in a family filled with women. Y cada una de ellas me enseñó algo muy importante. And each one of them taught me something very important. Pero lo que siempre recuerdo es que trabajando, luchando por nuestros sueños. But what I always remembered is that by working hard and chasing for our dreams, y llenándonos de coraje, fuerza y confianza, podemos lograr todas y cada una de las metas que nos propongamos en esta vida. And by having courage and strength and willingness to, willingness to achieve these dreams, we can achieve anything we want in this lifetime. Y esta noche lo corroboro estando aquí en el Miss Universo. Gracias. And tonight I'm proving this I am here at Miss Universe. Thank you, Venezuela. Well, we will see all three of you later for your final look. Each of our three impressive contestants have gotten in their final word. Well, I wish that final word would work for me at my house, but it don't. Anyway, let's stick around because our three finalists get one last chance to show us what they got in their final look, along with the performance by three-time Grammy winning Neo. Miss Universe returns.